Good morning, afternoon, and evening gamers. The boys and I are here to take you on a journey through the Mass Effect trilogy. Joe, Donald, y'all locked in? Hell yeah, Barack. I'm ready to save the galaxy from the Reapers once again, so long as Sleepy Joe doesn't hold us back from success. We haven't even started the damn game yet, and you're already trying to beef, Donald. We're beefing because you think we're playing as a goody-good paragon when Renegade is the way to go. I am not going to let you dictate things here, Donald. This is a joint effort, and you're in my house. Okay. Yeah, all right, buddy. It won't be your house after I win it back in a year. And we're already off to a riveting start. Let's just get things started here. The boys and I will take turns playing in each episode. Donald won our rock, paper, scissors competition earlier, so he's first. Thank God for that. I'll set us on the right path early on. My first order of business will be creating the most accurate version of Shepard possible, which is a male, renegade, soldier Shepard. Female Shepard is just as valid as male Shepard. I want to romance Ashley, and that means I have to go male. Donald, we're going to go male Shepard because we're all dudes but you are absolutely not going to have full input in how we customize Shepard. All right, fine, I can be a team player so long as the two of you don't try to make okay. Shepard into some kind of loser. Okay, now what are we gonna name this guy? Just leave it as the default name and move on. Why would we leave it as some boring crap like John Shepard? Commander Shepard deserves a first name that has character, a good strong name like Donald. We are not naming Shepard after you. And because I don't want to be here for seven hours arguing about which first name we should give him when no one even uses it. Luckily for you, I already thought of this. Let me see the keyboard, Donald. What the... What is that supposed to be, Barden Joe? Jesus Christ, Barack, how long did it take you to figure that out? Bro, all you wanted to do was name Shepard after yourself. At least all three of us are represented here. Barton Joe Shepard will go on to save the galaxy from the threat of the Reapers. I'm not gonna lie to you, Barry. You were not cooking when you came up with that name. Shut up. If we had things your way, we'd be calling him John. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Spacer. Dog, can you let the options appear first? Why are you trying to speed run the customization? And why would we pick Spacer when Earthborn is a significantly better origin, especially because we are Earthborn? Spacer clears on the basis that you get to speak to Mama Shepard. Just break even with Colonist. Your origin barely matters outside of a specific quest line. Okay, well I'm picking Soul Survivor so I can relate with Ashley being the sole survivor of her unit on Eden Prime. Why are you so convinced that we're romancing Ashley? What if we end up with Liara? Or, and hear me out, we romance no one at all and hook up with Miranda in Mass Effect 2. We're not waiting until the end of Mass Effect 2 to get a romance scene. Well, I'm gonna pursue Liara while I'm playing. Joe, I will destroy you if you sabotage my relationship with Ashley. Donald, you already get to play first. You're letting Joe and I have some input. And I say, we go the ruthless route. Okay, well now I get to pick something and I say we play Mass Effect 1 as a Sentinel. Hell no! We're not playing Mass Effect 1 on that boring ass class. Can't you at least wait until Mass Effect 2 when it's good? Donald, it is Joe's turn to pick something. And if he wants to pick Sentinel, then that's the way it has to be. This is literally not even at all. All I've picked is Shepard's gender, which doesn't even matter. You're letting Joe set the gameplay for us. We should play Vanguard so we can be ready to play it when it gets really good in Mass Effect 3. Donald, I'll tell you what. You let me pick Sentinel here and I'll let you romance Ashley without any resistance. I'm gonna hold you to that, Joe. You betray me and I'll make you regret it. There you see, we don't have to fight about this. All we gotta do is compromise where possible. Aha, but now I get to select shotguns, so I get to play what is basically a Vanguard class. If all you wanted was shotguns, we didn't need to make the deal, Donald. You would have gotten to pick it anyway. No take backs, Joe. That's the art of the deal for you. Always trade so you come out ahead. For what it's worth, shotguns will make up for Sentinel's lack of damage, so it's not the worst pick in the world. All right, well, now we're at the part that gets complicated. Barry, I'm going to let you know right now we're not making Shepard black like you always do. That's fine with me, Joe, but why did you say black all hard like that? Bro, let that 20th century Joe Biden slip out there for a second. Wrap it up, Donald. I need to get to bed, and I'm not trying to watch you mess with the face sliders all day. What do you mean you need to get to bed? We're like four damn minutes into the recording. Screw it. If we can't agree on how Shepard should look, we might as well do the most unique thing we can manage. Now Shepard has red skin. This Shepard is about to look awful. Wait, why are you making him so old, Barry? Because the two of you bring the average age of this group from well-aged to completely geriatric. Bro said he's well-aged. Barack, my boy, I've seen pictures of you with your shirt off. The dad bod is slowly becoming a grandpa belly. You look at my shirtless photos often, Donald, or was that just on the one occasion? Just checking to see if my boys are looking good, and I'm not gonna lie to you, Barack, I'm not impressed. Yeah, all right, brother. 
Don't think I didn't see you lie about your weight. Donald really said he's 215. What you trying to hide? Donald, if you're 215 pounds, then I'm an even 120. All right, all right. Finalize the customization so we can finally start the game. I stopped paying attention. What the hell kind of shepherd is this? The best kind. Red skin, blue eyes, and purple hair. It fits all three of us. Ain't no way Ashley's gonna lay up with this abomination. No need to judge a book by its cover. Donald Barden Joe Shepherd is a goat who will have no problem pulling a romance in this game. Well, they'll definitely stand out looking like they fell out of a space clown car. All right, what difficulty are we gonna play on? Insanity. Normal. No, if we play on insanity, this playthrough is cooked. We'll never get it done. No, you'll never get it done, Joe. I'll slam insanity, no problem. You, on the other hand, are very uninspiring. Joe, today's the day you get through the series on insanity. Even if Donald and I have to hold your hand two thirds of the way. Well, if we end up stuck somewhere for several months, I don't wanna hear no belly aching, I warned you. All right, game is finally set up, Donald. You have full control now. At least with this origin story, I'll have all the justification I need to destroy every Batarian in my line of sight. You needed a reason to slaughter Batarians? Not really, but it's nice to be reminded that Batarians get everything they deserve. All right, enough yapping. Iconic moment ahead. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Nah, man, is that the kind of haircut you want protecting the galaxy? Bro's barber really f***ed his shit up. You're just mad you could never pull it off like Barden Joe Shepard. Barry, I'm telling you, man, that name really is not it. Just for that, I'm gonna keep referring to the player character by their full name for the duration of the playthrough. We're not even 10 minutes in, and this is already turning into a train wreck. Anyway, do you guys think we'll still be around in the year 2148? Will we be around more than 100 years in the future? Gonna take a wild guess and say no. Joe, before worrying about getting to 2148, why don't you focus on making it through 2024? I gotta get through 2024 so I can see that brand new shiny Nintendo Switch console. Another Nintendo console that runs on hardware that can barely hit 30 FPS. You're just mad the Switch outsold the PS4 and has better games than the PS5. Goddamn man, I've experienced this opening more times than I can count and I never get tired of it. You know, it's pretty crazy that Mass Effect is filled with cutscenes with no way to skip them and no one cares. Only Zoomers with the attention span of a small dog need skippable cutscenes. What's the rush? Just sit back and relax. I kind of get the need for skippable cutscenes, but it's true people fly through games these days. People have already got 100% completion on Spider-Man 2. Like, goddamn, did you even taste the game? That's because Spider-Man 2 is like 18 hours long and people think that's going to beat Baldur's Gate 3 for game of the year. Baldur's Gate is too hard. It wouldn't be hard if you'd learn how to read your damn abilities. Okay, you know what? The way Shepard looks is kind of growing on me. I told you, Barton Joe Shepard can absolutely pull whenever he wants. It takes true confidence in yourself to look like that, and there's nothing sexier than confidence. I'll concede on Shepard's appearance, but a mishmash of our names is a wide miss. Going back to what you said before, Donald, I'm surprised to hear you like Baldur's Gate. Personally, I think Tears of the Kingdom will win it all. More like Tears of Boredom. Nintendo really sold y'all a $70 DLC and you ate it up. Ain't no way people are still calling Tears a $70 DLC. Prove me wrong. Donald, you didn't even play Tears. You just looked at clips on TikTok. Doesn't matter because we all know Pikmin 4 is the true game of the year. Another Nintendo baby game. Bro, you don't know nothing about Pikmin. The game would break you harder than Elden Ring and Sekiro put together. Joe, I'm not hearing you talk about FromSoft titles when you can't even beat Mass Effect on its highest difficulty. Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. There's Caden Alenko putting a damper on a peak opening to the trilogy by being a total wet blanket. I always forget that Caden is technically Shepard's first and longest serving squad mate, yet manages to be among the least popular because he's a boring human. Well, of course, you're in a sci-fi space universe who's trying to spend time with the humans. Show me the hot aliens. We'll bang, okay? You know, Commander Shepard never actually says, we'll bang, okay, right? Everyone got that from an old YouTube poop forever ago. Damn, you really had to be in the trenches back then cutting random pieces of dialogue so you could make characters say random BS. Now artificial intelligence allows you to come up with whatever you want. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that Don't be an asshole, Donald. I am the renegade. I treat everyone with complete disdain. Off and now I'm going to pay for it. Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. 
Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Wait, why the hell did I get Paragon points for that? You picked the option where you agreed that Nihilus being on the ship was suspicious. Goddamn, from moment one, the Paragon Renegade system is terrible. Agreeing with a correct observation is Paragon? Stop by and talk to Navigator Presley. I don't know why it's not like Presley ever has anything to add. Basically, all of this man's dialogue is right here in this conversation. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. Gotta say, they missed an opportunity not making Presley a bigger part of the team, especially when he becomes Shepard's second in command on the Normandy. Presley might officially be our XO, but my second in command is Garrus and always will be. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not trying to hear about Presley's worries. You gotta listen to Presley's words for the immersion, Donald, even if it's information we already know. No shot you go through every dialogue tree every time you play. He does. Every single time I caught Barry playing Mass Effect, he was listening to the most long-winded dialogue from D-list NPC characters. Well, we're not doing that while I'm holding the reins. Don't come crying to me when you're missing crucial information. It's okay, because a far superior NPC stands before us, Richard Leroy Jenkins. We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up. Hey, hey, watch the attitude I with Dr. Chuck Westonnell. She don't know you, little bro. I'll I speak to her however I want. That. But it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Good lord, he looks like a beet. How the fuck his lips the same shade of color as the rest yeah, of his face? My... Stop talking about my glorious king, Barden Joe Shepard, like that. The glazing is insane. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. I'm surprised they didn't just stick a red shirt on Jenkins with how obvious this is. It's the hat. Notice how no one besides Jenkins is ever wearing that cap. I mean, listen, with that name, he's either going to be the biggest badass in the galaxy or he's going to be dead within the next five minutes. No in-between on this. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? It'll be fine as long as Alliance Parliament doesn't try to tax them on tea. The last time one of our empires did that, the colony turned around and kicked their ass. Does the United States even still exist in Mass Effect? Canada still does, and there's no way the USA fell before them, so it's still around. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. If the Asari are any example, then finding a beacon on one of our planets is a human interest. It's not like any of the other Council races would have done anything with the warning the Protheans leave us. The Turian Counselor could have had the warning grafted into the folds of his brain, and he would still dismiss the claims by the time we reach Mass Effect 2. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to lead the rebellion. Since when do we answer to the Spectre? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this... Renegade Shepard really does prioritize being an asshole over being intelligent. Does this version of Shepard look like the kind of guy that wastes time thinking? I'm just matching appearances. I imagine Barden Joe Shepard is the tough but lovable type. Probably has a pet cat or something back home. how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. 
The concept of specters is crazy. Hey, bro, you committed a war crime. Why don't we give you nearly unlimited power and authority within Citadel space? The crazy part isn't that Shepard kills all the Batarians on Torfan, even the ones who surrendered. The crazy part is that Shepard got a lot of their own people killed as well. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. You'd think video footage in the 22nd century wouldn't look like you filmed it using the camera on the Nintendo DSi. In their defense, this is probably being transmitted from light years away. Me and the boys watching the most insane video posted on Live Leak circa 2007. Not enough gore in this video for it to be posted on Live Leak Donald. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Damn, look at the flaming crater down there. Must have been a wild gender reveal party. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I die faster on my own. I'll put a little respect on Nihilus's name. Nihilus At least he understands that the only gun you need is a shotgun. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. At long last, it's time for me to feast. My taste for blood can't be sated. Fun fact, Jenkins can apparently equip any armor in the game, but it won't show any visual differences. How do you even figure stuff like that out? Probably messing with the save editor or something. What the hell are those? Hey, Donald, you're gonna wanna go to the right and go pick up the gun modification that's hidden there. Oh God, don't tell me you're gonna backseat us all game. If you're gonna miss crucial pickups, then I absolutely am. Yeah, I'm sure this high caliber barrel one was super crucial. Barry's about to have us out here looking through every uncharted world. Hey, whoa, whoa, Donald, what did the gas bags do to you? The longer I go without killing some geth, the more of the gas bags I wipe out, even if I have to exterminate the total population. You guys think gas bags make good pets? They would if Donald weren't shooting them. Yeah, they make good pets right up until they bump into your wall and suddenly your entire house is filled with a toxic gas. If filling your house with a toxic gas were enough to preclude something from being a pet, then it's a wonder why Melania hasn't kicked you to the curb yet. You're implying that I smell bad? Yeah, never mind the part where he said you're Melania's pet. Jenkins! How dare they do that to the young lord? Bro Donald, you shot that gas bag instead of the drone. Indiscriminate destruction. Wait, that's it? I need more. If only we'd been a bit faster, we could have saved Jenkins. It's our fault. We weren't worthy of having him on our squad. Wow, Donald, the Paragon option. What's come over you? I'm just showing Jenkins a little bit of proper respect. Our morality is going to be so split by the end of this. 
Well, that won't really be a problem in Mass Effect 1 as long as we all agree to put our points into the Intimidate stat. I don't want to put points into Intimidate. Charm is better. Joe, we're going to need to commit to one of them if we want this to go well. See, Joe, this is how you do it on Insanity. Bro, it's Eden Prime, not Vermeer. Nothing you're doing is that impressive. Donald out here really trying to end the gas bags as a species. Now here comes my wife, the glorious and attractive America First Ashley Williams. Interesting that Ashley's shields held up to the drone blast, but they apparently ripped right through Jenkins. That dude kind of looks like he's enjoying whatever those geth are doing to him. Uh, never mind. I think the bots saw the term blow your back out and took it literally. Oh my god, Eden Prime sucks. You get a taste of combat and then it's over before you can even enjoy it. You were popping off when you realized that you were getting to play first. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Uh, I just noticed Ashley's left eye is facing one direction while her right eye is facing forward. God damn you, Barack. I'll never be able to unsee that now. I guess Ashley has a prosthetic eye and no one ever noticed it. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. There's a crate with some scorpion armor on your right, Donald. Barack, shut the f up. I know there's a crate there. It's in plain sight. I think the B in Big B Obama must stand for backseater. Has anyone ever stopped to ask how the Geth spikes turn people into husks? They're called dragon's teeth. And no, the lore behind these things isn't exactly clear. They just convert victims into husks. It's got them looking like the old lady from the chocolate episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. Who the hell is they? You remember when they invented chocolate back in 1900 BC? Apparently I can't quote one of the most iconic SpongeBob scenes without y'all making it about my age. You know, Donald, I respect the energy with which you play, but that balls to the wall business isn't going to work once we get off Eden Prime. See, that's your problem, Barack. You think holding up in a corner somewhere is how you play this game? But me personally, I go balls deep. Haven't you heard the saying? What did you just call me? Donald, did you just have a fucking stroke? What was that? It means hesitation is defeat. Haven't either of you played Sekiro? Donald, the sound of you speaking Japanese is probably the biggest insult to Japanese people ever. Eh, well, I don't know about that one, Joe. I can think of at least two other pretty big, rather explosive offensives that occurred to Japanese people. Anyway, my point is, if you don't play to win in this game, you will lose. That's why I'm a better player than you, Barack. Not even in your McDonald's-induced fever dreams are you better at Mass Effect than me. Wait, so all I have to do is just hold W and shoot to win? Uh, no, Joe, your problem is a bit more within. Gotta learn how to crawl before you can walk, Sleepy Joe. And needless to say, you're still trying to figure out how to sit yourself upright. Oh God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? This is what happens when you drink the Grimace Shake. Joe, why are you always approximately four months behind on memes? Do people still say Riz and Giet, or did those fall out of favor already? Yes, but we need to leave that sh in 2023 when we get to 2024 because the former was overused back in March and the latter is constantly misused.
Barack, I'm not going to lie to you, but backseating the use of slang is the most terminally online thing I've ever heard. As opposed to randomly dropping Sekiro quotes in Japanese? Oh, Christ, I forgot about these things. Not going to lie to you all, I'm probably going to mod the Mass Effect 2 versions of these out when we reach them. Oh, it's my boy, Manuel. What are you doing here? So what do you guys think about the theory that Dr. Manuel here was actually indoctrinated? I think the guy just needs his medication. He definitely has a screw or two loose, and that's coming from me. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended soon. Only ruin and corpses will remain. I mean, he's got to be talking about the Reaper harvesting there. Well, if we can explore his dialogue a little, I think we'll find a bit more insight into just what's wrong with him. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra yeah, all that is cool and all, but I got somewhere I need to be. Oh, come on, Donald. We cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Shepard really swung with everything they had there. That might have been a little extreme, Commander. Shut up, Caden. No one asked. Whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Uh, what's going on with Shepard's movement? Is there a fucking inverted control setting in this game? What the hell? I've come across this bug a few times now. Normally, I would just exit the game, but I think it'll go away if you reach the cutscene coming up ahead. Good to see Mass Effect 1 still has its issues. This your favorite game in the trilogy, Barack, for real? Listen, Mass Effect 1 has its issues, but at least it actually has a good ending. Jesus, I hope that's the last we see of that. We're just in time to see the elite Spectre Nihilus Creek take down the big bad guy and save the day on Eden Prime. Real talk, Saren has cybernetics all over his body and no one thought that was weird? As it goes, Saren wasn't supposed to look like this on Eden Prime and only gets his cybernetics after he's implanted later in the game. There's a mod out there that'll make him look normal here. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help up this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to the vibes. What Say whatever you want about Mass Effect 1, but damn if it doesn't have the best landscapes. I won't lie, this is the one area Mass Effect 3 is lacking. You don't get gorgeous views like you do here on Eden Prime. It's crazy because the remaster didn't really improve the game that much. A little flair here and some improved resolution there. But really, Mass Effect 1's art direction is simply peak. I'm surprised the shotgun is working from this distance. It's because of the high caliber barrel one I had you pick up earlier, you're welcome. Yeah, I don't think you're killing the Geth from there, Donald. Fucking Geth, putting up a damn barrier like a coward. Skill issue, Donald. Man, fuck this. Oh, now he's just going for it. Little bitch, I hope you like my barrel nine inches deep inside your flashlight eye socket. Donald talking to the NPCs like they're a 13-year-old in a COD lobby. Joe, if this were a Call of Duty lobby, the things I would say would get this entire channel demonetized the instant the video is uploaded. Also, Barack, you seriously backseated me about two useless pickups, but didn't tell me I needed to use my skill points. Oh no, oh shit, my bad, Donald. I thought you had it. I thought we didn't want Big B's help anymore. Whatever, man, we got one of the coldest renegade lines coming up here in a second. So these guys are just watching us break into their little hiding space? Everybody not like they can do anything about it. There. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. 
those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the dam, only it was coming from inside your own head. So these guys are probably indoctrinated, at least a little bit. I don't think literally every bit of exposure to Reapers leaves you indoctrinated. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You holding out on me, son? There's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Wait, he found a pistol, but he said he was unarmed earlier. This guy lied to us. Yeah, Joe. I don't think weapon smugglers are known for being particularly honest. I'm only going to ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh, no, no wait. I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? That's a top oh, 10 Shepherd line no. right there. That line was cold as hell. Did I say that right, oh, Barry? Really? You did, Joe. I'm impressed. Keep it up. Try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. There's a crate next to the building, Don. I will now be deliberately ignoring any and all further backseating from you, Barack. You're lost, man. You missed a legendary sex scene over there. Okay, well, Barry, I still need you to backseat me when it's my turn. I'll make sure you get through this, Joe, so we can finally get you the insanity achievements. Commander, it's Nihilus. Poor guy spilled his blue raspberry lemonade Kool-Aid on the floor and just couldn't cope with the loss. Can't blame him. There's no feeling worse than preparing a tasty drink for yourself and then spilling the entire thing. Now you're thirsty and have to clean up a mess. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. If this happened in 2023, the year of our Lord, this guy would have caught the entire exchange on his phone and the video would have been on the internet with millions of clicks within an hour. For real, I can see the title now. Spectre, Saren Arterius catches Nihilus lacking on Eden Prime. Oh, and what's that? No watermark? This is my best video yet. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Your calls contact here on the docks. Your boy snitched on you. What the hell would a bunch of backwater agriculture colonists need guns and grenades for anyway? Who's the buyer? Maybe they just want to have a good old-fashioned American get together to shoot and blow stuff up. Not like they have much else to do here on Eden Prime. If they aren't getting attacked by Geth, they're getting attacked by Cerberus. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. Hasn't this guy seen any alien movie ever? They always strike the small little American yeah, rural town grenades. first. I seriously don't get why movies always think aliens have an intense interest in places like Naperville, Illinois. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Renegade Shepard has the best bullshit detector in the galaxy. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. 
I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Kind of crazy to let this guy go when he's a valuable witness. Nah, a traumatized dock worker could never be a good witness for anything at all. All right, time for the final push on Eden Prime with this goaded soundtrack starting up. I'm running for it. Uh, bad idea, Donald. The big geth is about to run someone over. You got lucky, Donald. Caden took care of it. About time he made himself useful. Ooh, Donald, I don't know about the free run when you're still missing three-fourths of your health. Get off my back, Barack. I got it. You didn't get that grenade toss, though. Joe, take notes. When you're low on health, use your Medigel. And that's how the real gamers do it. You barely used any of your abilities and almost died. No need when my gun is all I need to win. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Damn, Saren was really going to nuke the entire colony. Hey, uh, Donald, you just ran by one of the explosives. I'll get it later. Bro's gonna run out of time and fail the mission. It's a five-minute timer, Joe, not one minute. I have plenty of time to increase my kill count and then disarm the bombs. What do you mean, increase your kill count? Whoever kills the most opponents is the better president. And who do you think is keeping track of that? If no one keeps track of it, I'll just say I won. I'll say you won right now because I'm definitely not keeping a kill count, but I will be keeping a death count. Sniper, sniper, sniper. I see it, Barack, Jesus Christ. Donald about to end up with the first death of the trilogy. No shot, I'm letting myself die before you do, Joe. Now watch me. Ooh, okay, Donald, I see you cooking. Oh. Almost got caught lacking there, Donald. I just want to point out that if I hadn't picked Sentinel, you wouldn't have the barrier ability and you would have died here 100%. Don't pat yourself on the Donald. back too hard there, Joe. All you did was pick the class. I'm the one who did all the work. See, this is why you disable the charges first. Now you have to backtrack around the landscape to do it. Hey, Barack, you let me play the game how I want, and I'll let you play it the way you want. And then once you do disable the charges, you have to run back up to the top to progress the mission. You just turned what could have been one trip into three trips. Yep, yep, yep. If I'm being honest, Barry, you're being kind of cringe right now. If being right means I'm cringe, then I'm a cringe lord. Bro said that with his entire chest. I'm just saying, we got people watching here and I value the time of our audience. Man, Barack, they don't care. They're probably just using this as background noise for something, so the longer the episode drags out, the better for them. I suppose that means I don't have to feel bad about dying 1,200 times. I'm sure the viewers will appreciate that, Joe, but I sure won't and neither will my storage space. We should set up a drinking game. Every time someone dies, take a shot. Okay, so you just want to give everyone liver failure, Donald. I cannot morally agree with a drinking game based on deaths because I will definitely be responsible for ruining tons of people. Drink responsibly, everyone. Don't tell me what to do, Barack. You know, they really should have gotten rid of the fatigue when they remastered the game. Why is the N7 super soldier here getting winded after a small sprint? Let's see you try sprinting covered in armor and carrying four guns on your body. I'd pay to see Donald sprinting at all. Time for the final battle. 
About damn time. We'd have gotten through this sooner if you didn't triple the length of the bomb section. Maybe I just wanted to prolong our time together. Oh, uh, you really mean that, Donald? Hell no. I only did it because I knew it would piss Barack off. Ha! Donald, I think you got it. I got it when I say I've got it. OK, Donald, there's quite a few pickups in this area that you might want to grab. Ah, uh, I guess I better grab everything before Barack throws a fit. Listen, you'll thank me later when we have enough Omnigel to crack all these boxes so we can skip this stupid ass decrypting minigame. Plus, we need gear to equip all our squad mates in the next part. We're a little broke at the moment. The only ones broke here are the two of you. Imagine being in politics for 40 years and not being filthy rich. You were really in this trash game for the love of it, weren't you, Sleepy Joe? It always has to come back to money with you, doesn't it, Donald? Ah, oh, Donald, you missed the cutscene where you look at the crater Sovereign left. Here I'll describe it. It's a giant burning circle in the ground. There, you didn't miss anything at all. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is Why in the f don't we ever call the Normandy in for firing support during a mission? It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. You know, I wonder what would have happened if the Vermeer survivor wasn't stopped by Shepard. Would they have been killed by the beacon? Or would they be the ones to save the galaxy? No, don't touch it. It's too dangerous. What do you mean it's too dangerous? Help me. Caden really said, let's leave Shepard to tweak out in peace. You know, the Perk 30 is good when it ends with an explosion. Well, that's the end of the game. Shepard dies, the Reapers win, and the harvest continues. Holy mother of God! Donald, calm down, it's just titties. Nothing to freak out over. This is how I knew Mass Effect was going to be a peak game. Well, there goes any and all women who might watch this. Anderson, they managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Ooh, he's mad, getting angry. If Saren and Sovereign didn't want anyone using the beacon, they probably should have just skipped nuking the colony and taken the beacon with them. Nah, that would make too much sense, Barry. Bro putting his rank-ass breath all in her face. Nah, come on. People got all angry about Miranda's ass shots, but nobody talking about the matriarch's boob window. Why are you calling her the matriarch? Did you forget her name, Donald? We're going to call her the Don't matriarch going I'm forward because that. accurately pronouncing her name is something well beyond our capabilities. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Has anyone ever told Ashley she has a severe case of resting bitch face? I mean, her entire unit did just get wiped out not that long ago. Can't imagine she's exactly happy. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. What are you going to say, Donald? I'm trying to get with Ashley, so I'll play this cool. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. What the f is that smile? All he did is say thanks. I'm so in. I told you, Joe, Bard and Joe Shepard can pull. The bar for the fellows really is rock bottom these days. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Literally, all three of these dialogue options result in the same thing. And to think people were upset, Mass Effect 3 got rid of the middle dialogue option like it was ever anything special. Destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? 
Given all the readings at normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. <laughs> private. Aye, Think it's about time to wrap this up. Joe is clearly tired if he's laughing at the word private. Is this a common occurrence or something? I'm not familiar with the Barack and Sleepy Joe lore. When Joe gets tired, his sense of humor fully deteriorates to that of a seven-year-old boy. Couldn't go two minutes without him laughing at the thought of the word duty. Ha ha! Bro said duty. Learn something every day. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Ever notice how Anderson says Turian with a hard T? I mean, Anderson fought in the first contact war. It shouldn't be surprising that he isn't all too fond of Turians at the moment. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Who doesn't hate humans at this point? Humans hate humans for crying out loud. You know, except for the fucking Batarians who just enslaved tons of our people in only 30 years. If you vote for me in 2024, I'll teach those rat bastard Batarians a lesson. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? The actual answer is I'm not sure because the beacon vision is not clear at all. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. No disrespect, Captain Anderson, but I can already tell you how much of a waste of time that is. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Protean technology? Blueprints for some... Ancient weapon of mass destruction? Now, the ancient weapon of mass destruction is located on Mars, but you don't know that yet. If only the Protheans put the blueprints to the Crucible in more than one damn beacon. A blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Another classic three options, same outcome dialogue wheel. I'll find some way to take him down. It's At least I'll find some way to take him down is another Peak Shepherd line. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right, that's all she wrote for today's Mass Effect journey. Next time your boy, Big B. Obama, is gonna get us through the Citadel missions. We're finally gonna get to see if Barack's gameplay is as good as his knowledge. All right, I need, I need to get to bed. Joe's about to pass out, so peace.